Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In the previous video we have learned syncing and sourcing PSC inputs. Today we are going to talk about watch table in TR portal. So let's create a simple program to turn on and off the output with a push button. I will talk about PSC security later in an other video. So deactivate the protection for this video. Select full access. Download the program to PSC SIM. This window asks, do you know the device that you want to download our program? Is it secure? Click on consider as trusted. As you know, we can see and change the input and outputs with PSC. Another way to see the status of our inputs and outputs is the watch table. You can find it here. Open watch and force table. Add a new watch table. You can add one or more tables. This window will be opened. We can add our inputs using their name or address. If you click on little box here, you will see all your tags and you can choose them. Another way you can write in name box variable name or in address box variable address which you want to watch. Our variables are boolean. We can observe other types such as integer, real, time and date and so on. Okay, we have inserted the IOs and now we want to observe them. We want to watch their status. Click on here on little glasses. I want to change the input with PSC. Or if you have a PSC, you can connect the push button to PSC and press it to see the status in watch table. Let's talk about these uh, buttons in watch table. With the first one here, you can insert a row before your variable. I want to add a new variable between first and second variables. 
Click on second variable, then click on insert row. For example, let me create an integer variable. I for input, Q for output, and with M you create a variable in memory. You see when I change the program a little uh, orange symbol is added here. It means we have changed the program and we need to download it again to PLC. Everything is again green. With second one, you can add a rub after your variable. With third uh, button, you can write a comment to explain something. Next thing that we can do with watch table is changing of IOs. In other words, modifying tags of input and outputs modules. You see here on top, show height all modified columns. By default, it is uh, activated. If you click on it, it will be deactivated and you can only monitor your input and outputs. You see when modify is active, there are two columns here that we use to change our variables. I type for input true and 150 for integer value and press enter. You see in the second column the checkbox is uh, activated. It says this, uh, this addresses is not yet modified, although you have written true or 150 in first column. For modifying selected uh, variables, we need to click on here. Modify selected values once and now. This will modify all selected addresses. The integer value is now 150, but the input is not yet true, but we have modified it. What is the problem? If you look at modify button, it says modify once and now. What does it mean? It means it modifies your value immediately only once per click and not anymore. And right now for a program cycle, not always. Next cycle CPU check your input and your peripheral and connected push button. It sees the push button is not pressed. Therefore, it changes the input to status logic zero or off. This process occurs very fast. Therefore, we can see the input in status one. Integer variable remains 150 because there is nothing to overwrite it. There isn't any hardware connected to it. This is very important and remember it always. Next button is this one all active values will be modified with trigger but it is deactivated to activate it press this button show height expanded mode columns if you press it two more columns are added and modify with trigger is activated It asks, do you want to modify with trigger? Click yes. Now we push this value using this trigger and permanently into this variable. This time it doesn't matter the hardware and your push button is pressed or not. We have overwritten it with watch table. How many times? As you see, permanently. 
If you open here, you can see we have seven different triggers. Permanent at the start of a uh, cycle would push your desired value at the start of your program and then it will remain always in this value. Third one, uh, push your value only one time. Permanently at the end of your program pushes your um, value at the end of your program and for always. Next one does it once only at the end of your program. And the next one does it when your CPU goes to stop. Last one is same but it will be done once only. Next button enable peripheral outputs. It disables the command output disable. If we stop the CPU all the outputs will be deactivated. With this table we can overwrite them. In this case the outputs will not be deactivated when the CPU is stopped. I prefer not to work with it. You can deactivate it again with pressing this button. Then we have this button with a little one. If you click on it, you can monitor the IOs only for a short amount of time. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, we will learn about force table.